guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and uh, down here at Smith Lake for the Bassmaster Open practicing. And as you can see, we got a cloudy day and that's the focus of today's tip. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice on how to catch bass in the clouds in the fall time. Hey guys, just a little bit of a quick tip here on uh, catching bass in the, in the clouds in the fall time of the year, actually all time of year, but specifically in the fall. Um, just before we get started, just wanna remind you guys real quick, um, uh, getting close to this 45,000 uh, threshold on YouTube, which, you know, I can't believe. And at, at the end of this, when we hit 45,000, we got giveaways, Bridgeford beef jerky cases, we got Seaguar fishing line. Looks like we're probably going to hit it sometimes this coming week. So if you want to be eligible for that, just subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, you're good to go. But uh, much appreciated for that. Okay, let's have a little bit of uh, discussion here on these clouds before I start practicing. This is my first practice morning, so I gotta get after it, but I'm trying to get the video out here. There's two things, that, there's a big misconception about clouds in bass fishing. And most people think when it's cloudy, you know, windy, rainy, fish are active and they start moving around and, and they bite good. Um, that's not always the case, that, that can be the case. But what happens guys, and this is, this is the big thing I wanna talk about today, the big mistake a lot of guys make, that a lot of people don't know is when you have an extended period of time where it's cloudy say for example it's it's one of those deals where you've got some type of a system coming in and and it's been cloudy for like two to four days you know for for several days in a row what happens after about the second or third day that it's been cloudy even with this level of clouds that we got today is the bass don't chase shallow like they did when it first got cloudy. Um, what they do is they go deep. They go deeper or on the bottom and they stay there. And it's sort of counterintuitive to what they should be doing. So if, say for example, if you're fishing down like a, you know, just a, a bank like this, and say the first, when it's cloudy right off the bat, you can catch a few, you know, on a crankbait or topwater spinnerbait. After the second or third day of clouds come into there, you're a lot more likely to catch fish like slowing down and getting out deeper, like on a shaky head or a finesse jig or something like that, because there's something about extended periods of clouds where it just puts the fish on the bottom and they, they simply don't want to chase a lot. I've seen it over and over again every time, every lake that I've ever fished before. Now, if you've got situations where it's been sunny, partly cloudy for a long period of time, and then you got clouds rolling in, yeah, they're going to get up on the bank and you can catch them on movement baits. That's just... That's typical fishing, but the tip I wanted to give you guys today, pay attention how long it's been cloudy and adjust your techniques. If, you, if you're if you out there fishing and it's been cloudy for two or three days and you're not catching them on those moving baits, get on those same type of banks that you think those fish are on and just get out deeper. Fish, you know, anywhere between five to 20 foot deep out deeper, um, even if it's raining. I've seen it work a lot of times. I, some of the best days I've ever had flipping guys have been when it's been hard rain it's been raining for several days and the fish are really tucked in tight to those bushes so anyway just a quick tip here i'm going to try to get out here and get some fish located uh, i know a lot of these guys have been down here for a week already so i gotta i gotta really make these next two days count i'll keep you guys updated how practice is going we'll let you let you know and we'll talk to you later